Hello friends, welcome to today's session. Today's session, the topic for discussion is appropriations more than the net profit. So in a partnership firm, the net profit which is earned by the firm is going to be divided amongst the partner in different forms on the basis of their agreement in the partnership deed. Like the net profit available might be given away to partners in a form of interest on capital or salary to partner or commission to partner or a portion may be set aside towards general reserve or any specific reserves and the balance called as divisible or the distributable profit gets divided in the profit sharing ratio. But the situation that we are going to learn today is when we do not have adequate profit to cover up all the items of appropriation. Means the total of appropriation is more than the net profit that is available. So before we jump into the question, let's have a small story. Mito is a very sweet boy and he had a lot of pizzas ordered at home. So he wanted to share it with his friends. So what he did, he went out and invited his two friends, Choto and Motu, home. When they were invited, Choto said that he could eat four slices and Motu said he could eat six slices. So Mito said, we have a lot of pizza at home today, we have ordered, so please come over and he took them home. So when they reached home, they found only five slices were left at home. So now Mito was in fix. He had to divide only the available five slices. But Chotu and Motu said that they could eat four and six, which means ten slices were required. Now in this case, what was to be done? The available five slices had to be divided. Now, how to divide it? That was the situation. So, taking a very scientific approach, what did Mito do? He tried to find out the ratio in which Chote and Motu had desired to eat. That is 4 is to 6, which could be divided as 2 is to 3. So, he decided to apply his math knowledge and divide this available 5 slices into 2 is to 3 ratio. Which means he gave two slices to Choktu and three slices to Motu. And in this way, the available five slices got divided. So applying this to the partnership firm, these five slices represents the net profit of the firm. These four and six slices which they desire to have, we can call them as appropriations as has been agreed in the partnership deed but when applying that it was found that 10 slices had to be given if to be given as per partnership deed but available slices only 5 so what was done the ratio of appropriations were found out amongst the partner and the available net profit got divided in the ratio of appropriations I hope this story helped you in understanding this concept now let's apply this knowledge that you've got on a question. So let's go. Now this is a question. This is from the T.S. Garewal textbook, Backside Exercise Question. Kabir, Zoravar and Paru A partner sharing profits in the ratio 5 to 3 to 2. Their capital as on 1st April 2022 were Kabir 5,20,000, Zoravar rupees 3,20,000 and Paru rupees 2 lakh. The partner should be provided as follows. Kabir and Zoravar each will get a salary of 24,000 each. Parul will get a commission of 2% of sales. Interest on capital is to be allowed at the rate of 5% per annum. Interest on drawings is to be charged at 5% per annum. 10% of divisible profit is to be transferred to general reserve. So these are all the items of appropriations. Sale for the year ended 31st March 2023 were 50 lakh. So this commission as a percentage of sales which is now 50 lakhs, 2% of 50 lakhs is to be Parul's commission. Drawings of each of the partner during the year were 60,000. So it is of each partner. So when you are going to calculate interest on drawing, you charge 5% per annum on 60,000 for each of the partner. And net profit for the year was 1,55,500. Prepare profit loss appropriation account for the year ended 31st March 2020. So, we are supposed to prepare the appropriation account, but first we'll start with the calculations to find out what are the amounts of appropriation, how much has to go to different people. So, we can do this 
by preparing a table. Like this, you prepare a table writing particulars and the three partners name. From the question, we know that they are eligible for salary, commission, interest on capital. So we know that there is going to be interest on capital, salary and commission. So look at the question. It said Zora, Kabir and Zoravar each will get a salary of 24,000 each. So Kabir and Zoravar will write 24,000 as salary. Then, next point, Parul will get a commission of 2% of sales. Sales was 50 lakh. So, 2% of 50 lakhs would be rupees 1 lakh. So, that would be Parul's commission. So, write for commission in Parul's column 1 lakh. Now, what is left is interest on capital. It is to be allowed at the rate of 5% per annum. Now, interest on capital, we have the opening capital here. 5,20,000 Kabir, Zorava 3,20,000 and Parul 2,000,000. So, let's calculate the interest on capital for all of the three parts. So, interest on capital at the rate of 5% per annum. So, Kabir, capital was 5,20,000. Into 5 by 100. So that comes to rupees 26,000. Zoravar had a capital of 3,20,000. 3,20,000. And Parul had a capital of 2 lakhs. So all of them were eligible for 5%. So it comes to 16,000 for Zoravar and 10,000 for Parul. So 26, 16 and 10. We'll put it here. 26,000 to Kabir, 16,000 to Zoravar and 10,000 to Parul. Now, these were the items of appropriation. Let us total it up. The total of what Kabir was to get is 50,000. Zoravar had to get 40,000. And Parul, 1,10,000. Now, what is the total amount of appropriations? It comes to, for Kabir, 50,000. Zoravar, 40,000. And Parul 1,10,000. That comes to rupees 2 lakhs. So, amount of appropriation is 2 lakhs. Wait. And they have said 10% of reserve profit has been transferred to general reserve. We wait for that point. Look at the net profit. The net profit for the year was 1,55,500. And there is one more point we are yet to do. There is interest on drawings to be charged at 5% per annum. And the drawings are 60,000. So let's calculate the interest on drawings. Interest on drawings is at 5% per annum and the amount of drawings was rupees 60,000 each. So we'll calculate once 5% of 60,000 as the period is not specified, the date of drawing is not given, we will assume that the average period is 6 months. So calculate like this. So, rupees 1,500 each. So, therefore, total interest on drawings for the three partners would be 1,500 into 3, rupees 4,500. Now, using this information, we know the net profit for the year is rupees 1,55,500. And the interest on drawings which is charged is 4,500. So total amount which is available for appropriation is 1,60,000. But what is required? As per the partnership deed, they were assured that they will get 50, 40, 1,10,000.
which means they are supposed to get 2 lakh. But your net profit available is only 1 lakh 60. So what is to be done? Apply the principle. What you have, that only can be distributed. We have on 1 lakh 60 thousand, so firm can distribute only 1 lakh 60 thousand. Now the concept. We have to distribute this available net profit in the ratio of appropriation. So now what is the ratio of appropriation? For Kabir, Zorawar and Paru, they were supposed to get 50,000, 40,000 and 1 lakh 10,000. So 5 is to 4 is to 11 would be the ratio in which the net profit has to get divided. So let's divide that. So net profit division in 5 is to 4 is to 11, the rupees 1 lakh 60,000 has to be divided. So Kabir would get 5 by 20 of 1 lakh 60,000. Zorawar would get 4 by 20 of 1 lakh 60,000. And Parul would get 11 by 20 of 1 lakh 60,000. So calculate this comes to 8,000. So Kabir would get 40,000. Zorawar would get 32,000. And Parul would get 88,000. So this is how the 1,60,000 would get divided. So I hope this concept is clear. But there is one more thing which was left. 10% of the profit is to be transferred to general reserve. When the net profit available is not adequate to cover up all the appropriation amount, then such transfer to general reserve will not be done. It would be skipped. So in the absence of divisible profit, they say 10% of divisible profit. Do we have divisible profit here? What is divisible profit? From the net profit, you remove all the appropriation. Whatever is left, that is called as divisible profit, which gets divided amongst the partner in their profit sharing ratio. In this case, the net profit available of 1,60,000 was not sufficient to cover up the appropriations of 2,00,000. So there is no divisible profit. And therefore, in the absence of divisible profit, this particular transfer to general reserve is not going to take place. So I hope everything is clear. Now, if you prepare the appropriation account, now we will be dividing the available profit in this ratio. Prepare an appropriation account, write like this. Profit and loss appropriation account for the year at the 31st March 2023. First, we bring down the net profit from the profit and loss account. The amount of net profit for the year was 1,55,500. Then there was interest on drawings that we just calculated. That is credited to the appropriation account. Interest on drawings account. Kabir, Zorawar and Pal. All the three we found out was 1,500 each. So, totaling up to 4,500. Now, this 1,60,000 we are dividing amongst the partners in the ratio of appropriations. So, that is going to be 2 profit transferred to Kabir's capital account, Zorawar's capital account, and to Parul's capital account, we divide this 1,60,000 in the ratio of the appropriation, which was actually 5 by 20, 4 by 20 and 11 by 20. So that came to 40,000, 32,000 and 88,000. Total 1,60,000. So that's it. As simple as that, your profit and loss appropriation account is ready. So I hope the entire concept of when you have inadequate net profit, that is when your appropriations are more than the amount of net profit, how do you deal with it? So thank you for joining me today. See you soon.